guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something exciting and new. We got a package from our channel sponsor, Furnerology. If you have not heard of Furnerology, they are a uh, card game hobby shop uh, located in Kentucky. They're an online retail business and they often sponsor the channel. They have all of the Pokemon goodies you could ever need along with pretty much every other trading card game and a new one that we're gonna get into right now. So I will have my lovely wife open this with what looks like a tiny fondue fork. <laughs> I thought it was a tiny fondue fork. So we've had a, we've had some rough going for Pokemon lately. So I figure maybe we do something else. Maybe do something fun. And uh, Will was kind enough to send us this lovely box with some different trading cards in it. So we're going to take a look inside and see what we've got. We'll teach you a little bit about the TCG. We'll learn a little bit about the TCG. Not necessarily how it's played, but just from a collector's standpoint, how to look at the cards, how to figure out what you've got and all that. Oh, miscut error <laughs> codes. Cards, oh yay. Well sent extras. All right, so we're gonna get this unboxed and then we'll be back to open it. So, you know, stay tuned and all that stuff. All right, future Kanto here to tell you that uh, we had a recording problem with the first part of this booster box. The explanation of the rarities and everything that we kind of explained about the TCG was lost, as well as the first 18 packs of the booster box. Um, because some for some reason the audio doubled on the recording, bad, whatever. So, past, or I'm sorry, future Kanto is here to tell you everything that you missed. Just like in Pokemon, there's a number of different types of cards. You have character cards that come in forward, backup, monster, and summon. And just like in Pokemon, there's typings, there's elements in the Final Fantasy TCG, but instead of the Pokemon type elements, you have fire, ice, wind, earth, lightning, water, and then you also have light and dark elements. Um, I have put up on the screen for you guys a little bit of an explanation about how the markings on the the cards work like what they mean what they do and there's also a little uh blurb about the rarity in there so the rarity has changed over the course of final fantasy uh but for this set for this set's purposes we have commons which are represented by a c rares which are represented by an r heroes which are represented by an h and legends which are represented with an l now one difference between Final Fantasy TCG and Pokemon is you can get hollow form uh, of commons, rares, heroes, and legends. Um, there's also full arts, just like in Pokemon. However, there's no texture. It's just kind of a missing little text box. And we actually pulled a full art in the first part of the video, and we didn't even notice. So I've thrown that in here for you guys, as well as the clips of the other polls that we got with the pricing information. So when you're pricing out Final Fantasy cards, especially if you're pricing out a hero or a legend, it's very important that you look at the holofoil cost because I've come to find that the holofoils are worth quite a bit more than the regular uh, non-holofoil cards. Now another thing with Final Fantasy that is different from Pokemon is there's no energy cards in the packs and there's also 12 cards per pack instead of 10. Now, originally we weren't entirely sure what the breakdown of the pack was, but after going through all of the different packs, so you get seven commons, three rares, one hero, and then you get a hollow, which can either be a legend or any of the other uh, rarities as well. They do make non hollow legend cards, which can come in place, I believe, of the, the hero cards, since you only get one of those per pack. Um, but that's, I guess, pretty much the gist of everything. I hope you guys enjoy the opening, and I'll let you get back to the fun stuff. Missed this part because the last opening, or the first part of the opening, and the, uh, anyways, we missed this part. This guy looks like freaking Lord Farquaad. So for today's emoji in the comments, since there's no Shrek emoji, no Lord Farquaad emoji, leave me an onion comment for Lord Farquaad. All right. Let's get into some freaking Final Fantasy packs. We've got 18 packs left, so half of our booster box. We'll start with Wifey's packs. Ba -ba -ba so, 
I'm thinking that we'll do some kind of stream or video where we kind of learn how to play this. Uh, it's It looks super interesting and it's always fun to sit and learn to play a new game. If anybody is a collector of the Pokemon variety and doesn't know how to play the TCG, I highly recommend you figuring it out, like playing on online. Get with the program. It makes the cards have whole new meaning, really. Because I mean, if you never read, really? if you never read the words, you never know what's going on, and who cares what the cards say, right? But I think it makes collecting a little more spicy and stressful. <laughs> stressful. <laughs> oh. Gunbreaker, Dark Knight, Sid Preba Engineer. Oh. The artwork reminds me strangely of MetaZoo, and I don't know how I feel about that. MetaZoo? Yeah, it's a card game that got super popular in like the last year, but I don't know anybody that knows how to play it, really. Oh, I know... is that the one where no one knew how to play it? Yeah. Ah. Eh. Oh. Ripping and tearing. Tearing and ripping. All right. So far, this is much easier to understand than Yu-Gi-Oh, and also a lot harder to mess with the cards up since they don't have the pointy corners. <gasps> Fenrir. Oh, beautiful. Noctis. Diana. Sarah. Ninja. Summoner. Mimic. Ramu. Scholar. This guy. Leon. And Lael. Lyle. Laylee. I'm not sure. Alright, so we're not keeping all of the sparklies out. But we will keep out the sparklies that are legends or le legendary or above. Uh, so we're not going to leave all the sparkly ones out. We're just going to leave out the basically what will be ultra rare and above. Since you get a hollow in every pack, you can look down here at the bottom for the letter that is the, at the end of that set of numbers. And it will tell you what, uh, what rarity it is. So for L and above, we will leave out because that would be considered ultra rare. <gasps> Minwoo! What a cutie. All right. Good job, Minwoo. Oh, okay. I feel... Oh, no, these packs are long. I was confused about how many I opened. There's two extra cards in every pack. I know. It's crazy. It's great. I wonder if they change up the holofoil pattern every once in a while. But I guess we won't know unless we open more or different sets. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how you guys like it. We'll see... If maybe we want to start doing like a one video a month where we open something different. Because there's a lot of TCGs out there. And a lot of them that are a lot easier to get a hold of. And a lot cheaper than Pokemon. And it's fun to just open stuff, you know? <gasps> Moogle! You got it! I got a little hollow Moogie! I do like the Moogles. They're very cute. Alright. Tenzin. Ah, yes. Fire Lord. Vane. I thought I said Wayne yesterday. Pain. Captain, Bard, this guy, Nuge. Well, which one is Nuge? That guy. Ah, yes, yes. Black Mage, Gunbreaker, I was just testing you. Ninja, ah. and Leon. I'm not sure how I feel about those specific artworks. They were, they look like the liter like the amiibo figures. That very yeah. heavily animated type look. Not a super big fan of that, but I am a fan of the different art styles that they do the cards in. I like that it's very clearly not just, like, one guy in a room or one girl in a room cranking out a whole bunch of artwork. Different styles. Very nice. All right. Wild Privia. This looks like something from The Little Prince. Yes. Aegis. Noctis. Oh, 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 oh. These stick together easy because they're so smooth you just grab them. Luna Freya. I wonder if they separate easy. Because this back is like plastic. Well, we have tons of dupes, so we could probably see. Mm. Forza. So this is a hero card. He looks kind of like a tree man. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. He speaks to me tree-ishly. <laughs> tree-ishly? Yeah. You know. Aren't the tree things in... Um... Where are the tree things in Lord Imps. of the Rings? Imps. Mm -hmm. I was thinking imp. I don't know why. Close. Magissa. Jurgen. 
Princess Goblin, we haven't seen you yet. She looks like a character from Fairy Tale, honestly. She looks like she'd be in Fairy Tale. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the Fairy Tale yeah. anime, very long Why anime, not? but it's also very good. Get on it. Oh god, my fucking back hurts so bad. Okay. Shikari. Yeah, get on it. There's like five thousand episodes that you need to get <laughs> caught not, up on, not, not quite literally. 5, it's not like Bleach Ninja. Oh, god. <laughs> I like that guy. Boko and Ninja. All righty. At least you get kind of like, you know, the consolation prize by not having uh, to cry until you get an actual hollow. You get a hollow in every pack. That's at least pretty nice. And I like that the commons can be hollows too, because that means the Moogles have a chance. You know? And you got your Moogle. I did well. get my little Moogie. So, Final Fantasy also has full arts. I haven't seen, like, any all gold or all silver. Um, we haven't seen a full art, either. We have not yet seen a full art. Maybe we will someday. Cel Celtus? Celtius? A Jurgen. Pain. Oh, gosh. Did it again. Omia. I don't like the way that character looks. <laughs> Remora. Cactuar. Cactuar. Gipple. Ramu. EX. Dragoon. Leon. Ah! I don't like The her. one you didn't like him in the yeah. hollow version. Don't like. Go away. Okay. The character design is pretty neat for a lot of these Final Fantasy characters. There's a lot of variety. It seems like for a lot of video games, like, the monsters and stuff tend to get kind of repetitive. But there, it seems like there's a lot of different species of things in the Final Fantasy universe, which I am a big fan of. What is that? The Dark Crystal. Have you seen it? No. Oh. Sorry. It's not the same. If you haven't seen it, you can't back me up. The face looks like one of the little things from the Dark Crystal. Hmm. Most of you probably haven't seen it either. So It looks like a little puppy dog in a hat to me. Definitely doesn't look like Freya. Just saying. I hope we see a full art so we can, like, figure out what the difference is, you know? Because, like, with the English version of Pokemon, or I guess all the versions of Pokemon, the full arts not only have art covering the whole card, but they have the texture. So I'm wondering maybe, is there texture, or is there literally just, like, no text box, and the text is kind of just seated on top of the card? Who? See, now I don't want to... Uranger. Very nice. Diablos. I don't think we've seen him. He yeah, looks no. kind of scary. Elf boy. Necron. He looks kind of like a jelly boy. You know? Looks like he's not quite made of bones and stuff. Paladin. Looks like he belongs in Godfall. And another ninja. I like the ninjas. Many ninjas. Many ninjas. Or Wu Tai. Wu Tai. The Wu Tai clan. Yuffie is so funny. We will eventually start playing Final Fantasy VII Remake in stream. I look forward to diving into that universe. Uh, it's not one I'm super familiar with. But it's definitely interesting to watch. I've always enjoyed watching Nikki play it. So Well, you know how you always say you have a, you have a special place mm -hmm. in your heart for uh, Assassin's Creed. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this was my first oh. RPG game. Your very first. Mm -hmm. Gilgamesh. We've not seen this guy either. So this is a legend card. It's just not a hollow. He has lots of swords. So he's a non-hollow legend. You want me to leave him? Mm, you no. Know, okay. I mean, they don't look that easy to scratch up unless they're hollow. So I think he'll be all right. We'll leave him up there, though, since he is a legend card. Oh, we haven't seen her Pretty. at all. Quacho Queen. Very interesting. Mm. So sparkly. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna pull that card out for you. It was the first one in the pack, too. Seems a little odd. Well, I guess not, because we do the card trick. Yes. <laughs> Lani. Oracle of Light. I think that's a new one, too. Warrior, another ninja, Captain, Nuge, Soul, 
Ninja. Mm -hmm. Emmett South. This guy looks like a weird Coella DeVille, but also <laughs> somehow Rocky Horror Picture Show guy. You know what I'm saying? He seems a little strange to me. Strago. X-Death. Oh, oh, oh. Iris, Crystal, X Arc, Bard, Astrologian, Shiva, Minwu, Chocobo, Ninja, Bibby, and Diana. I think we already pulled her in Hollow. Diana EX. Diana be extra. Extra Diana. Eh. Okay. After this, we'll be down to the last pack. So, not a whole lot of pulls from a booster box like this. This is a new one, too. Carbuncle. Very cute. Alba. The first part of the video, as you probably have seen it by this point in this video, um, we only got three of the, like, super good pulls. And that's quite a bit less than we're used to. Ooh! That looks like a full art. I think that is the full art. It looks like it for sure. Would you like to... Alrighty. So we did pull a full art that we can now compare. The full art doesn't have the little text box, but the art is still the same, which is a little strange to me. However, there is a huge price difference. Uh, the full art is around $28, and the regular is only around $7. Hmm. So not bad, but a little weird that they're, the artwork isn't different. Maybe they haven't gotten that far in the game yet. Even though there's so many sets. Alright, we got Bart's. Bamul. Uh, Lisa Frank. <laughs> Blaze. <laughs> Dragoon. Ifrit. Kujata. I don't think we've seen that one either. Uh, Lord Farquaad. Monk. Summoner. Alright, so no juicy pull for Wifey's last pack. Nope. Let's see if we can get some last pack of magic. Well, you got the full art already, so. Yeah, but still. <laughs> maybe maybe I deserve more luck in Final Fantasy because my luck for Pokemon has been so poor lately. You got the better pulls in this one? I did. Oracle of Light. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so. Hmm. Lots of cards per pack. Lots of cards per box. But the makeup of the boxes are different. Ooh, he is pretty. It's just a hero, though. Nothing too special. Uh, overall, I really like this TCG. I think it's an interesting thing to kind of trade off to every once in a while, you know? But there are far less pulls per box than Pokemon. That's significantly less. I think this is... In the prices are more and stuff like that, but not substantially. This I don't think this is necessarily for a collectors. Yeah. You know. I would like to learn more about how the sets work, how this this numbering system works. Because it doesn't seem like they're all from the same set. Yeah. It maybe it's the number of that specific type of card, like that many forward um, character cards or, or, you know, whatever other types that we decided that there were. Yeah. Interesting. Lots to learn. There's so many different uh, different types of TCGs that are out now. So many different animes, different video games. Uh, one that I would like to try opening is Fire Emblem. They're very, very cheap on uh, Amazon, and they have a lot of really cute cards. And Fire Emblem's been around forever because Marth from Super Smash Brothers is from Fire Emblem. And uh, Super Smash Brothers came out, what, on the N64? That's something I did not know. So it's old. Well, I just found out because Michelle got... We learn something new every day. Yeah. She, Michelle was playing Super Smash Brothers and didn't know who Marth was. And I I never knew where he was from, but I she found out. Up. Yeah. He, she looked it up. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Really, 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 really appreciate it. We're going to do some Pokemon Unite this weekend, so hope to see you guys there. But we hope you have a safe, wonderful rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.